In this tutorial, I will be showing all the students at the Stellenbosch University's Tigerberg campus with Windows-based notebooks how to connect to the BYOD network. BYOD is an acronym for Bring Your Own Device. Simply put, this is a new way by which students can use their own devices, such as notebooks and tablets, to access the university network and services such as SunLearn and podcasts. Here we have a typical student notebook. This particular notebook runs Windows 10, but the BYOD system runs on Windows 7 and 8 and also supports Apple laptops and iPads, as well as Android devices. In order to set up your notebook or tablet to connect to the BYOD wireless network, you will have to be either in Gage itself or in the corridors outside Gerge and the medical library. To connect to the wireless network, move down to the bottom right of the Windows 10 desktop and click on the networking icon in the notification area. You might see a small information pop-up telling you that connections are available. In the notification area on the right side of the desktop, there will be a number of connections available. The network that you will be connecting to is Gerge BYOD. Click on the Gerge BYOD item and then click on the Connect button. After a few moments, you will be connected to the network. This completes the first step. Once you are connected, you can now open up an internet browser such as Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome or Firefox. Once the browser is open, go to any website or address. It doesn't matter which one. I will go to google.co.za. As you can see, you will be automatically connected to the Gerge Network landing page. Click on the link just below the grey welcome bar that says, please click here to connect to the Gerge Network. After a few moments, this page will appear. Fill in all the required details. Put a check in the I agree to the acceptable use policy box and then click on the complete registration button. The registration process will complete after a few moments. Your Windows notebook is now registered on the Gerge network. This completes the second step. Once the registration of your device is successful, you will be taken to the Gerge Wi-Fi website. Here, you can download and install the appropriate Citrix receiver client for your device. These clients, once installed, will allow you to connect to the virtual desktops that have all the necessary programs and services that you will require for your studies at Tigerberg campus. If you have a Windows-based notebook, an Apple laptop or an Android-based tablet, you will be able to download the client from the menu on the right side of the page. Unfortunately, if you have an Apple iPad, then you will have to connect to the internet to download the client from the Apple iTunes Store. This client is free. All that you need is an internet or a 3G connection in order to download that client. Installing the client is a simple process. Double click on the installer file and when prompted, accept the license agreement and click on install. Once Citrix receiver has been successfully installed, click on the add account button. In the field where you fill in either your work email or server address, type in the following address https colon forward slash forward slash stbcitrix 
www.sun.ac.za Press Add to continue. To complete the Add account setup, enter your username which will be your student number and your network password. Press Log On. Click on the Humaha account and press Select. The Citrix Receiver client will now start. At any time, should you get a pop-up window about a script error, just press Yes to continue. This completes the third step. Your notebook is now ready to access the Citrix General Desktop. You will have to connect to the Gaga BYOD wireless network each time you want to access the General Desktop. Follow the same procedure as you did at the beginning of this tutorial, when you connected for the first time. Here is a reminder. Move down to the bottom right of the Windows 10 Desktop and click on the wireless icon in the notification area. Click on the Gerge BYOD network item and then click on the Connect button. If you get a warning that connecting to the network is taking longer than usual, do not worry. This is normal with Windows 8 and 10. After a few moments, you will be connected to the network. The wireless notification area might also report that the Gerge BYOD connection is limited. This is caused by the Windows firewall. At the end of this tutorial, I will show you how to prevent this warning. If you want to check if your device is still registered on the Gerge BYOD network, you can open up an internet browser and go to the following website. If the website opens up and displays normally, then your device is still registered. You can now start the Citrix Receiver software and connect to the general desktop. Type in your student number in the username field and enter your password. Click on the Log On button. After a few moments, the Citrix Receiver window will open up. Choose the general desktop and click on the item to connect to it. The normal welcome message will appear and after about 30 seconds, the Citrix General Desktop will appear. This is the same desktop that you can access from the computers in Gerge. This completes the fourth step. Remember, each time that you want to access the Citrix General Desktop with your own notebook or tablet, you will have to firstly connect to the Gerge BYOD wireless network and secondly, run the Citrix Receiver client. Now, there is a small adjustment that you can make to your notebook to make the connection process easier and faster. If you get a warning when connecting to the Gerge BYOD wireless network that connecting to the network is taking longer than usual and that the Gerge BYOD connection is limited, then the Windows firewall is causing the problem. Here is how to remove this warning. Go to the Windows 10 taskbar at the bottom of the desktop and click on the magnifying glass icon. In the Search Windows field, type in Firewall. Under the Apps heading in the search result, select the Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security item. The Windows Defender Firewall program will open up. In the Overview section, click on the Windows Defender Firewall Properties link. This displays all the various parts of the Windows Defender Firewall. By default, the Domain Profile, the Private Profile and the Public Profile Firewall states are all switched on. This can sometimes slow down or even block you completely from accessing the Citrix General Desktops. In most cases, we find that switching off the Domain Profile will unblock the connection. To do this, click on the small drop-down menu that says On Recommended and select the Off option. 
Select the Apply button at the bottom of the Firewall Properties window and click on the OK button to exit the program. You can close the rest of the windows. It is safe to leave the Domain Profile Firewall off as it only affects the Citrix Receiver client logins. If you have a good antivirus installed, then switching off the Domain Profile on the firewall will not affect the security of your notebook in any way. This concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions or are unclear about some aspect of BYOD, please contact the Gerge personnel during office hours. We will be glad to help. Live long and prosper.